We are with 21 Pilots. I'm Josie from 107.5 KZL. And before I start the interview, what's the one question you guys don't want me to ask? I already told, was told I can't drop my pants when I walk in, so that's out. But there is there one question you're sick of you don't want me to ask? That one. <laughs> about yeah. the, not asking a question well, or not dropping the pants? So okay. Question. Okay. question. I like this. It's going well already, guys. So uh, I don't know if you knew, but um, with the general admission, people started camping out for your bracelets on Wednesday. Oh, wow. There was actually an encampment here on the side of the building. People came in from Pennsylvania. Wow. Mind you, you were in North Carolina. It was a drive. Yeah. Um, all over, and they had tents. They were using the construction port of John's and using baby wipes. So they're probably going to smell a bit when you get on stage. You'll smell them. That's the sign of a good show. How That's... do you, I mean, how does that make you feel that there are people camping up for four days before a show for you? Well, it makes me realize uh, how tough our fans are. <laughs> Very right. much. I feel like I would tap out after like an hour three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, I like these guys and their music's great, but man, I got, I need, some, I need some running water. Right, yeah, right. So. They're living on the subway of Fort John. Yeah, I appreciate them. For sure. I guess it's pressure for us to put on a good show in a good yeah. way. Like, yeah, we, don't screw this up. Yeah, People we can't. Waiting, we're, not gonna, for you. we're not going to skim tonight. Well, and in the same respect, we were outside waiting, and, and your fans are anywhere from a kindergartner. I mean, my daughter was singing your song this morning in the car. Of course, she said the kid's spot version is her favorite. I apologize for this. Oh, I, I can respect <laughs> yeah, I... But there's a guy out there right now that has an I Am 21 Pilot shirt on, and he's in Crocs, and he's roughly 70 years old. That is... So, Oh, I took a yeah. picture. Let me get that. I do want to yeah, um, see how do you How do you feel about, um, I mean, how, you, your fan base, his shirt says, I That's the name of the dead. I knew it was going to be David. I, we, know we, we know him. Oh, okay. Well, then. He's, he's always. He's our, he's our butt. He's hardcore, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> There's a guy in the crowd. He's, totally, he's totally not 70 years old. Oh, is he? Oh, don't tell my son. Oh, what? <laughs> but I mean. You can edit to say, you know, 65. Oh. Oh. So, uh, but there's also girls out there that have your matching tattoos and, and have their necks painted. And how does, I mean, that's gotta be a little overwhelming. The expectations are a little high here, right? People are mimicking you. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I think that uh, we've always tried to live our lives in a way that even, I, I think growing up, and we're both the oldest of um, four kids. So we have three younger siblings and always try to kind of do the right thing. Uh, and show them kind of what we've learned and the, the, the best way to live. And now I think, um, in a way, having a bunch of other brothers and sisters, <laughs> uh, I, I think it I think it helps Tyler and I to kind of try and, and um, make the right decisions in life. And, yeah, they awesome. they definitely keep us accountable. And from from music to just what what we you know what we do in life and decisions that we make that, that kind of guide this band and how it goes. I think a lot of times we think of them when making decisions and, and what's going to make sense and what's not. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's cool to have them. Best answer ever. I loved it. Uh, favorite place you've been um, on the road so far on tour? Favorite city? Favorite city? Probably Greensboro. Oh. Well, yeah. I was going to say Greensboro. I like it. So we've been here there. all of once. Once. <laughs> I was going to say, have you guys even gotten to like, see beyond the cement walls of the Coliseum? Not yet. Do we have time tonight after the show? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it gets so, tough sometimes, but... Uh, let's go party. Yeah. Absolutely. Greensboro stuff. Give you all yeah, the historical right. tour and the bar tour at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And um, so uh, what's been your favorite celebrity counter? Counter so far. I mean, you guys are the Grammys, obviously, but somebody there famous, other than yourselves. Uh, we sat behind Tim McGraw at the Grammys. Yeah, that was. Did you wear his hat? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was a good encounter. It was still fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, speaking of the Grammys, how sick are you hearing the question? Why'd y'all drop your pants at the Grammys? Yeah, no, it's not. I think. I mean, it's that's a valid question. Not a lot of people do that kind of thing, I feel like. We appreciated it. Yeah. Some of us really appreciated it. Yeah, I mean, I pre I mean, I just, you know, <laughs> we have great legs. So. <laughs> that was the reason. Yeah, yeah. had nothing to do with something you said years ago. Uh -oh. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. We're so excited you're in Greensboro. Yeah, um, from the looks of things, you guys are going to have a heck of a show and a heck of an audience. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.